Good morning, TB12. How are you? Good morning, guys. Nice to talk to you. Good to talk to you again. I want to get into this uh, best buddy thing in a little bit, but I want to talk a little football first. OTAs. With so many new wide receivers, Tom, uh, and with the desire to have them learn the offense and synchronize them with you, what's your comfort level right now with all these new faces in new places? Well, it's there's, there's quite a few new guys on the roster, uh, certainly at the receiver position, um, you know, almost the entire group. So as many days of practice as we can get, as many opportunities that we can have to actually get out there and throw the ball together uh, in a competitive environment, I think that's where a lot of the improvement comes. So we've only had two days of practice, and, you know, it's a very competitive position. I think there's a lot of positions that are very competitive on our team. But, um, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, at this point, the work that we put in, how well it's paying off. I'm going to ask you a question that's probably already been asked you a hundred times and will be asked a thousand more. How does Amendola look to you? Well, Danny's, you know, Danny's, a, you know, he's always had a lot of talent. So to, to watch him out there and, and play against him, uh, you know, when he was at the Rams, he was very productive, um, you know, and it's been fun to work with him. He's, he's got a, you know, he's got the, the tenacity to him and the, and the drive and the determination, the work ethic. In a short period of time, it's really easy to see. So, uh, like I said, he's one of those guys where we've got, the more we throw, the better we're going to be. So we're trying to, you know, always kind of talk and communicate through practice, through the OTAs. And, um, you know, we threw in the spring a lot. And hopefully as the summer continues leading up to training camp, we'll get as many reps as, as we can together so we're on the same page observers who have watched you and danny play pitch and catch say if he didn't have a number on he reminds you very much of wes welker in terms of his style his movement and just the way he plays the game would you agree well they're, they're similar positions um you know they're about the same height you know they both you know they got um you know very good ability it's hard you know wes was so productive for so long i mean it's i think it's unfair to to compare anyone to Wes and what he was able to accomplish in his time here. So, you know, Danny's really, um, you know, he's just been fun to work with. I think he's come in really with an open mind and understanding of the way that we as Patriots, uh, you know, the way we need to play. And, and, you know, Josh is trying to get everyone on our entire offense up to speed with, you know, how we're going to play offense this year, how we're going to try to be more consistent than we've been the last few years. So, um, Danny's really taken to that. A lot, all the receivers have, and all the receivers have really had, like I said, a willingness to come in and work and listen and try to get better. Uh, Tom, I don't know where you were when the news broke, but back here, around here, it was shocking when Wes Welker uh, signed with Denver when he was replaced by Emondola. Was it a surprise to you when you found out? Well, I don't think anything surprises me anymore in the NFL. So I've, I've been around long enough to see, uh, you know, Things happen at different times and, you know, with the greatest players of all, whether that's Wes or, you know, Randy Moss being traded from the Raiders or Brett Favre and, you know, playing for the Jets and the Vikings, it's, you know, that's what happens. This is a, um, like I said, it's a very tough competitive business and, um, you know, nobody appreciated Wes more than I did and, and what he was able to accomplish for our team, but he's moved on. He's in a good situation with, you know, another great team and a you know a great quarterback. So, um, you know, we've we've always kind of kept in touch. We always will. He's one of my best friends. So I certainly wish him the best. So there was never a point where you were disappointed or, or even angry uh, that your that your good buddy was was gone. Well, I mean, of course, I have feelings. I mean, I, but you know, those feelings are very personal to me and. Um, you know, I, I used to get caught up in, you know, anger and frustration and disappointment, but I don't make the, I don't make the decisions. It's not, you know, these things aren't up to me. So, you know, at some point you got to realize the things that are out of your control. You just got to let go and focus on my job and what I need to do. And cause you know, the game moves on, the team moves on. It's, uh, you know, there's only so long you can dwell on the past. And you know, at some point you've got to move forward. And like I said, my, job for my team is to be the best quarterback and not the general manager and not the coach and not the owner it's to try to go out there and bring you know my own competitiveness to the field so that you know those guys that i'm playing with this year can really rely on me and count on me to be the best i can be. for more visit weei.com slash video